Welcome to this Mindomo tutorial from biggerplate.com. In this tutorial video, we're going to look at how you can add and edit images within your Mindomo maps. So let's take a look. Adding images to your Mindomo maps is a great way of adding some visual interest to the diagrams, but can also be very functionally useful if, for example, you need to insert diagrams or charts into your document to explain certain information. We can add images into our Mindomo maps from three different places. We can choose to put images from our computer, find images from the internet, or use the inbuilt library of images within Mindomo. So let's take a look at each of these in turn. To add an image into our maps from our computer, we can pop open the image menu, and you'll see here we've got uh, an option here to browse within our computer. So I'm in my pictures folder here, go into some of the images we've got from biggerplate.com and let's say we're going to say use this image and pop that right into the mind map from our computer. Alternatively, with that image uh, option still open, we can use this second option here, which will actually search across the internet for diagrams, images, whatever we're looking for. So to use our example earlier of putting in a, a diagram to maybe explain some information, perhaps you're studying uh, plants and plant cells at school or university, so you might want to use the internet to give you a really nice uh, diagram, for example, of a plant cell. So nice easy way of pulling into your Mindomo maps from the vast uh, resources of the internet any images that might be useful. Finally, you've got the option to use some of the inbuilt images provided by Mindomo. So we've got a huge library of uh, images provided by the Mindomo team here in their uh, particular sort of style. And once again, we can simply click any of those to uh, insert them into the mind map. You can also search within the Mindomo library. So perhaps if we search hand, we'll see some hand uh, based images there and we can simply choose whatever we like using that. So searching within the library, nice and easy way to find things. Having added some images into your Mindomo maps, you might want to do a little bit of formatting to get them looking the way you want. There are some essential formatting options available within the software. Perhaps the most important is the ability to resize the image. So if we take this image that we've added here, for example, click the topic and then click the image within the topic, you'll see we've now got these control points to resize that image however we want. So if an image comes in and perhaps is a bit big, we can easily just resize it, shrink it down to make it a little bit more manageable. Other options we've got to format the images is to change the shape of the image. So once again, we click the topic, we click the shape itself. You'll see you've got this little triangle drop down here. And we've got an option here of actually saying to make this a rounded image. And Mind Demo is just going to do a nice little job there of rounding that off. Again, just giving it a different appearance. Depending on the image, that may or may not be a helpful thing to do. One final option we've got, which you may have just seen in the last option, was to change the position of the image in with relation to the text. So for example, back to this image again, we can say let's change this to be on the left of the text, as you can see there, or again we can rechange that again to say above the text however we want. So within the topic we can move the image around, we can resize it, and we can even reshape it. So there you have it, a very quick look at adding images into your Mindomo maps. For more resources to help you go further with mind mapping, visit biggerplate.com.